this video, we'll explore how you can use the Let's Move with Leon series of exercise films whilst awaiting surgery. The Let's Move with Leon films weren't designed for those awaiting surgery specifically, so you'll have to select the appropriate exercises and you may need to adapt some of them to be a little bit easier. And as always, if you're unsure about any of the exercises, speak to your doctor or physio first. If you're waiting for, or if you're recovering from surgery, you might find our new series of surgery-specific exercise films, which form part of this surgery toolkit, especially helpful. But there is still a lot you might find useful in the Let's Move with Leon series as well. Let's take a look at those now. Let's start with the mobility video. This video includes basic stretches and movements for the neck, shoulders, spine, hip, knees, and ankles. These exercises should be suitable for anyone waiting for shoulder, hip, or knee replacement. Just make sure you only work into the range of motion that you're comfortable with. These exercises will help to strengthen the muscles, tendons, and ligaments around your painful joint and throughout your body. As they grow stronger, they absorb more of the stress that was previously going through your joints and bones. The more movement and strength that you can develop ahead of your surgery, the easier your rehabilitation will be afterwards. Overall fitness is really important as well, and for that, the cardiovascular and respiratory fitness video should be helpful. It focuses on exercises that will support your heart and lung health, and those exercises will build some of the major muscle groups in your body. It doesn't specifically focus on increasing movement and strength in your joints, but instead it will help your body's general fitness. This is really important. Alongside healthy eating, it can help you reach or maintain a healthy weight, which can reduce stress on your joints. You may also require crutches after surgery, so you'll need to be fit enough to manage this. And since your rehabilitation after surgery will focus on building back strength and movement, increasing your fitness levels ahead of your surgery means you'll be in a better position to start rehabilitation. Finally, general exercise is good for you in the short term as well because it releases chemicals in the body that can help you sleep better, improve your mood and even reduce pain. Exercising the arthritic joints helps you to regain and or maintain the range of movement and muscle strength. The muscles, tendons and ligaments you'll be strengthening will be the very same ones that will support your new joint, which will help your rehabilitation go faster, thereby getting you back to the activities that you love sooner. You're also likely to rely upon other joints to take more pressure during the first few weeks of recovery, so working on muscles across all joints is a good idea. Remember to follow the advice given to you by your healthcare professional, as each person's circumstances can be different. So, if you're awaiting shoulder surgery, check out the upper body film. Consider trying the T-towel shoulder raise, the wall press, and the supine chest press. If you're having hip surgery, use the lower body film. Try the hip abduction, hip extension, and lunge exercises. If you're having knee surgery, you can also use the lower body film. Try the knee extension, standing knee flexion, and the sit to stand exercises. Whichever exercises you attempt, remember to adapt them to your situation. Use a chair or hold onto a countertop if you need to, and always stay within your comfortable range of motion. If you are awaiting joint replacement surgery, check out the movement videos in our surgery toolkit alongside our daily tracker. Whether using those films or Let's Move with Leon, the most important thing is to make a start. Set realistic goals and pace yourself. That way you can do a little bit each day, which is what will really help those joints.